Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I have Lex in the chair. Look at all this hair Lex going to show up to me with. Okay, it is a party on her head. So, so Lex's birthday is coming up um, this week actually. So she came in. She's like, she's like, I just want something a little different. So she asked for a little color. So I'm going to give her some color. I'm starting by sectioning her hair off into the same way I section it off when I'm about to press the hair um, so I can get her hair set up to apply this color. Now, the color that I am going to use today is Pervana um, Chroma Silk. And I'm doing two different colors. I'm doing a dark blonde, which is really like a dark brown. And then I'm doing like a medium blonde. So that's why I have two different bowls of color here. And I am going to take that dark brown and I am going to start applying it first. Now the dark blonde is pretty much the dark blonde, dark brown. It's pretty much the same color as her hair. It's just like a little richer. Um, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start applying it to her hair on the first two sections and then I'm going to go in with that lighter blonde. Now, when I'm applying color, I like to turn the brush to the side and just feather that color in randomly on the hair because you do that to not create hard lines when it comes to the color. Like sometimes when you see an ombre look or a biolage look, it's like if you don't apply it correctly, you end up with hard, harsh lines and demarcation. And you don't want to do that. You just want to feather it in so it's just... It's just like hand done throughout the hair. You know what I'm saying? Like you could just tell that it blends way better. So now I'm using foils because I'm just going in and I'm using the foils to separate the lighter blondes from that dark brown hair. And also foil brings in a little heat to help lift that color. Now around the face frame, I'm bringing it up just a little bit higher because we're going to create kind of like a money piece on the frame of her face. So I'm taking that lighter blonde and I am just, you know, going along that part. As you see, I parted it kind of diagonally. So when she pushes her hair back, you'll be able to see the color as well. Just kind of lay over top of the darker hair. So it's like you can use your own discretion of where you want to put your color placement um, me, I'm, that's what I do. I just use my own discretion. Like this would probably be great here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I do a lot of blondes underneath too. Cause I think it's pretty when you pull the hair up and you can see, or if you pull your curls forward, you can see more color there. So now that her color is lifted, we are, I shampooed it, conditioned it. And now we are about to get into the blow dry. Now, I know I always tell you guys to be very gentle when you are combing out the hair with a wide tooth comb after the shampoo, but when you just apply a chemical, you want to be extra gentle, okay? You always be extra gentle, but just remember when it's a chemical, you have breaking down the bonds of the hair, so you want to make sure that you are being very soft and, and nice to the hair, okay? So relaxers, colors, any type of chemical process, just be very sweet to it. And I'm going to go in with my ceramic R.E.D. blow dryer. Okay, that is by Kiss. If you are still looking for this blow dryer, no, it hasn't been on Amazon. I think that I have harassed 
Amazon to death and we have bought every single dryer they had. <laughs> so go to your local beauty supply because they are always in the store. Like when I'm looking for it from my salon, it's always in the store. So just go in um, your local beauty supply and just ask them if they have this ceramic red or you can say RED blow dryer. Um, make sure. I think this is the 20, 2300. I, I think it's the 2300, but just Google it. <laughs> It'll be some answers for you there. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm blow drying Lex's hair. She just has so much hair, so much beautiful hair. So I know I told you guys recently that I just worked on another film and okay, this film is just going to be so amazing. And part of the reason why I took this job is because it is literally basically a hair movie. It's deeper than that. You know, no pun intended. It's deeper than that. But when you see this film, you'll understand why I just had to take it. It was so much creativity um when when I was able to do the hair it wasn't like oh I want press or I want curls like no we got down and had a really good time on the hairstyles and it was it was a it's a purpose film you know what I'm saying so long story short um I'm pretty sure I told y'all that somebody had went in the room um when they were having a meeting on who was going to be the head of hair and Lex here is the one who brought up my name in the room at the table you know and let them know that <laughs> It would be great if I could do the hair for the movie in my team. And so I'm just so grateful for people like Lex who mentioned your names in rooms that you haven't even stepped foot in. And just remember, if you ever have an opportunity to put a friend or someone you know on that you know will be perfect for a job, always mention their name because you get so many blessings for that. So Lex, I just want to thank you for that. It's also Lex's movie. She's produced this film her and her husband and I can't wait for you guys to see it so as soon as it comes out you know I'm gonna let y'all know because it is a film that you guys have to see it's so creative and it's so beautifully done and and yeah that's all I have to say about it so thanks again Lex um you a real one girl So this time I shot the trim from a different angle today. I don't think I'm going to do it like that no more. I like <laughs> I like getting to the nitty gritty when I show y'all the trim. And I'm pretty sure y'all do too. Next time we go back to the original way that we shoot a trim. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my wine curlers that I got from Long Locks Virgin Hair. I'll make sure that I put the link below. This is actually a 5-in-1 interchangeable wine. So you get this size wine, a smaller wine a waver like a crimping iron all of that in one so i showed it to you guys also during the 12 days of christmas and, and she completely sold out and she has more but it is my favorite wine curler for this reason most wine curlers i you have to put heat on the hair before you go in with the wine but this wine right here gets the hair straight without pressing the hair so you literally get to skip that process use way less heat and you know less heat is my favorite thing okay and it's literally got these curls looking like ribbons without the extra heat so i'll put the link below for this and again you get a waiver you get a couple different size wines it's just fire so i'm going in and i am wrapping the hair around the wine and once you get the hair around the wine you just hold it there for a few seconds, make sure that it gets all the way in, and then you're gonna take the hair and drop it down into your hand, and then you hold it for a couple of seconds, let it cool off in your hand, and then you release. Now, if you want the curl tighter, one, you can use a smaller wand, but if you want the curl tighter, you can hold that curl in your hand a lot longer than I did. The longer you hold it in your hand, the longer you let it cool in your hand and you squeeze it, it'll turn into a tighter curl. But me, I wanted these to kind of be curls, but also be waves. So let them, you know, elongate. So I'm holding it, but I'm not holding it as long as I would if I wanted them to be way tighter. I 
I know some of y'all probably wondering what this watch is I have on my arm, but it's called the My Zone Watch, and it basically tracks your heart rate while you're working out or while you're moving around. And it has been so motivational for me along my my health journey because it's like seeing your numbers go up make you want to work out even harder. So this is not a sponsor ad. I just literally have been wearing this watch since um since february the first and i've i've been so motivated to exercise i've been working out twice a day being all hype and i guess i i think they might have them on i'll put the link below to see if anybody wants to buy one but it's so fun to keep track of what you got going on and just measuring you know how hardcore you've been going in the gym um so yeah i'll put a link below just in case somebody's interested in the my zone watch because I think that it helps me tremendously. <laughs> so now moving forward. Now, as you see, I am doing the wine. I'm wrapping it the opposite way because it's around her face. So I like the curls to come away from her face when, you know, it's, it's like the way the curls lay. They lay a lot differently when you wrap it away from the face when you are curling. Oh, another thing I forgot to say about my, my zone device is that it's waterproof and I wear it in a pool. Now, on Instagram, when I post that I'm in a pool, so many people get in my DMs and say, what do you do with your hair when you swim? So what I do is I just put my regular satin scarf on and then I put my, I have like an oversized swim cap that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link for the swim cap um, in the link in the box below too. And I just make sure that the swim cap is laying flat around on my forehead underneath of my ears and on the nape of my neck. And then I press all the air out of it so it can just kind of adhere low key. And then I swim. I'm under the water. I'm doing my thing and my hair never, ever gets wet. So I make sure I put the link for that below, too, because a lot more people ask me about my swim cap than I ever imagined. So I make sure that I'll leave the link for that as well. So again, around the face, we are going to take that wine curler and we are going to wrap the curl away from the face. Also, if you notice, I'm like pressing the root a little bit with it first. That's when you see me sliding the wine down. That is because I'm pressing the roots first, especially because we weren't, we didn't press the hair first. I also going at the end, I forgot to film that. I also go in around her edges with the wand as well and do the same action just to get it a little smoother. I also like how the color came out. It's a nice little vibe for some color that's not too, too much. It's all up in the in the chocolates family, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's kind of fly. Um, that it's not it's not too loud and it's just subtle color. Uh, and and yeah, I think I like that. We did say like eventually we go in and put some brighter color in there just to like liven it up a little more. But for now, this is a nice start to some color life. So now that I'm done, as I turn it to the side, you can see how how curling that wand away from her face creates that little curtain vibe right up there by her eye. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to take my comb and kind of comb it in to give it that frame. And now I am going to spray her down with some Glass Brilliant Shine, okay? And make sure that that shine is locked in. You see it didn't even need it. I mean, look at the ribbons. They look like straight up ribbons. And I thank my wine curler for that because it does not play. And they are bouncing. Now, like I told y'all before, 
sometimes when you do wine curlers, it's fun to go in and just, you know, comb them through. But because her birthday is coming up, we decided to let them fall. And I, if you ask me, wines just get better and better every single day. And how you wrap this is, you could pull it up to the top and put it in a pineapple, let all those curls sit in the top of your scarf. And then in the morning, just shake them down. And every day they just get more beautiful. So Lex is done. I was like, go ahead and shake your hair, girl. You know, when I tell people to go ahead and play in the camera when they done, a lot of people start laughing. They get silly. They just get weird. But Lex said, give it to me, okay? She just start going in. So we um, are done her hair. And hopefully you watch our movie. I'll make sure I let y'all know when it drops. It's coming out next month in March. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.